uh, welcome welcome to the online class lecture of professor s k paul university department of english pra bihar university muzaffarpur uh, good morning dear students of pg semester 4 ec 2 today i start 2 second ec ec 2 group partition literature so this is from partition literature today i will discuss uh, a short story uh, written by prafulla roy the name of that short story is father father written by prafulla roy is considered to be a partition story the story stems from 1947 uh, when the british colonial government left south asia from the uh, from that event pakistan was created uh, uh, taking lands from eastern and western india the diversity of the people involved led to uh, rioting killing sexual abuse and abduction of women and children the primary setting of this story is calcutta the story's narration is third person looking at the story uh, through the main character's eyes suffering from arthritis the protagonist uh, um, shekhar nath has lived 80 uh, 80 years his family now consists of his only living son sandeep and his wife and two children sandeep's wife shobham uh, shobna takes tender care of a father in law looking back in the past has become easier than it once was a flashback takes the old man back to the time when his wife emlata wanted to leave their home in mirpur because she was afraid for her children particularly their five year old daughter kuku kuku riots and uh, murder uh, were occurring everywhere with uh, uh, disagreements uh, between hindus muslims and sikhs shekhar nath disregarded his wife's fears in 1963 during a riot him lata was burned to death in their house and their daughter kuku was kidnapped kuku was never seen again this event brings the conflict to the story of the man uh, fighting within himself against his his guilt many years later a woman comes to the house shekhar nath recognizes the woman's voice it is his long lost daughter the old man had hoped she was dead uh, um, she was bitter of death the old man refuses to see his daughter and uh, now called didi there are several themes that run throughout the story the honor of the family finds importance to the old man didi's husband is muslim her husband saved her life and has provided a home and family with her still shekhar nath remembers the old uh, dissension between their people even though she was a child and had nothing to do with the pretty comment the importance of family surrounds the entire story the son and his family enjoy each other they work together to get uh, to take care uh, to take care of the uh, grandfather because he is their ancestor before his wife was tragically killed shekhar nath's family was happy when the old man realizes what uh, he will miss if he allows his daughter to live 
he goes to her and proudly welcomes her and her husband into his arms another theme is the old man's guilt he he could have taken his family away when his wife wanted him to go he ignored her and she died and his daughter was taken uh, taken uh, taken part of his difficulty in seeing his daughter is not the honor but the shame that he feels for all the years that we are taken from her because of his arrogance the daughter has searched him out she wants the relationship through this acknowledgement the old man is set free to enjoy his new found family shekhar nath took from the bag a gold necklace and a diamond ring giving his daughter the necklace he said i have to uh, given you anything your mother had this made for you for your wedding the story comes uh, full circle with the promise of reuniting the family in the future sandeep will be proud that his father was able to put aside the old ways and greet his daughter about the author prafulla roy uh, born on 11th september 1934 at dhaka is a prolific fiction writer in bengali literature he was awarded by sahitya academy award for his book kranti uh, <coughs> kal of bengali literature in 2003 he came to india penniless uh, from then pakistan after the partition of the country he has had to struggle hard to gain a foothold in a newer land apart from the trauma of the partition he had faced the aftermath of the second world war the great famine the great famine the bloody communal riots uh, once he took to travel throughout the country to experience the living living um, of the struggling people to minimize his own he had been among the tribals in nagaland the untouchables in bihar the ruthless people from the main land in the andamans etc these experiences could become part of his writings prafulla roy's writings depict powerfully and authentically the prevailing realities in both urban and rural situations his characters are drawn from every segment of the society be they professional skilled or unskilled of lower middle or higher economic preferences that helps uh, the reader discover the multidimensional social maze in india he has written more than 150 books including his novels and short stories many of prafulla roy's fictions have been filmed and a few of them bagged the national and international film awards he also worked in the literary sections of a number of dailies in his later life in bengali fiction creative writers have mainly emphasized on the theme of nostalgia of the lost homes lost companionships and dislocation bengali writers have consciously uh, downplayed the element of violence and concentrated uh, more on the new beginnings bengali literature is characterized by the theme of migration the attempt of refugees to build new homes their struggle to establish themselves their feelings of uh, bewilderment uh, partition is often seen in metaphysical terms the heart is the the heart is not in the heart is not in the body but in the mind the soul madness is not a trope in bangla stories rather it is a nostalgia and a constant desire search to know how and why and where of and state of a pathological experience
partition is seen as a cosmological occurrence, a loss of world rather than a loss of related to prestige. Major theme, uh, prestige, uh, prestige, major theme. There are several themes in the in 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 this story. Uh, Father by Rafulder Roy that uh, run throughout the story. The honor of the family finds importance to the old man. Didi's husband is Muslim. Her husband saved her life and has provided a home and family with her. Still, Shekhar Nath. remembers the old dimension uh, between their people even uh, though she was a child and had nothing to do with her predicament. If she had been raped or molested, uh, it would bring shame to the family. That is why the old man had wished his daughter to be dead. Uh, through her death, she would stay forever pure and the family would not be dishonored. The importance of family surrounds the entire story. The son and his family enjoy uh, each other. They work together to take care of the grandfather because, because he is their ancestor. Before his uh, wife was tragically killed, Shekhar Nan's family was happy. When the old man realizes that he will miss if he allows his daughters to leave, he goes to her and proudly welcomes her and her husband into his arms. Another theme is the old man's guilt. He could have taken his family away when his wife wanted him to go. He ignored her and she died and his daughter was uh, and his daughter was taken part of his family in seeing his daughter is not the honor but the shame that he feels for all the years that were taken from her because of his arrogance the daughter has searched him out she wants the relationship uh, through his acknowledgement the old man is set free to enjoy his new new found family. Shekhar Nand took from the bag a gold necklace and a diamond ring, giving his daughter the necklace. He said, I haven't uh, given you anything. Your mother had these made for you for your, your wedding. Critical analysis of the of, of this partition story related uh, critical uh, sorry critical analysis related uh, to uh, partition uh, uh, related short stories uh, magnify the riots arson killing looting abductions abduction and rape during the partition these stories reflect uh, comprehensively in all its totality reality and variety of human suffering. As Alok Halla mentions about the writers of partition stories, they, the partition stories, are rather witnesses uh, to a period in which we fall out of a human world of uh, uh, languages, customs, rituals and prayers into a bestial world of hatred, rage, self-interest, uh, self-interest and frenzy. The writers of these stories uh, frame the events in a variety of ways and rate them according to their own sense of the uh, multi-religious and multicultural past of the Indian subcontinent. In the story, Father by Prafulla Roy shows Shekhar Nath's daughter abducted, his wife killed and their house set a place uh, during the riots. She has come to visit her father after 30 years from Dhaka. When her father has the first glimpse of her, uh, he reacts, my God, let it not be her. 
he refuses to meet his daughter. He is determined that he would he would not look at the face of one who had come from Dhaka. He had been praying for her death year after year and had tried to oust her from his memory, but he was not able to forget uh, forget her. His daughter Kuku Kuku's Kuku is married to Harun, a joint secretary in the Ministry of Education, who married her for respectability at turning down several proposals. Shikhar Nath's son persuades his father to accept his daughter. He questions him. He questions him whether he would have been able to find such a boy for his daughter in his community. At last, Shikhar Nath puts puts off uh, his prejudice. Both father and daughter cry uh, inconsolably and in that flood of tears all the cross is washed away, a new relationship is established beyond the boundaries of love and sharing bereft of any prejudice. Traumatic experience is understood as a fixed and timeless photographic negative a symptom. A symptom. It remains stored in an unconscious part of the brain. However, it maintains the ability to interrupt consciousness and, uh, and maintains the ability to be transferred to a non, uh, non traumatized uh, individuals and groups. Moreover, this concept of trauma perceives responses as fundamentally pathologic and privileges the act of speaking or narration as the primary avenue to recovery. In other words, presenting trauma as a inherently, uh, inherently uh, pathologic uh, uh, perpetuates the notion that all responses to any kind of dramatic experience produce a dissolute consciousness. The major aspect of this story, father moves around the traumatic state of mind. Prabhul Roy has set Bangladesh partition as its background in this fiction. In It investigates the trauma experienced by a father, Shekhar Nath, who constantly needed to separate himself from his past recollections. These recollections include the homicide of his significant partner uh, Hemlata and abduction of his little girl Kuku by the agitators in Dhaka during partition riots. Above all, this story presents a true picture of communal, uh, communal devastation during the period of uh, Bangladesh partition. The characters are all the characters are well drawn and they represent a lively picture of their agony and depression in Indian, Pakistan, Bangladesh or with the cult of Bengali and Bihari ethos. The social fabric with the political upheaval is the culminating point in shaping this story. Prafulla Roy awarded by Sahitya Academy is a, a prolific fiction writer in, in Bengali. He came to India penniless from the then Pakistan after the partition of the country. He has had to struggle hard to gain a foothold uh, foot in a newer land. Apart from the trauma of the partition, he had faced the aftermath of the Second World War, the Great Famine the bloody communal riots. Once he took to travel throughout the country to experience the living of the struggling people to minimize his own, he had been among the tribals in Nagaland, the untouchables in Bihar, the ruthless people from the mainland in, in the Andamans, etc., most of uh, whom later reappeared uh, flawless in his writings.
प्रफुल्ल रॉय राइटिंग एटिपिक्ट पावरफुली एंड ऑथेंटिकली द प्रिवेलिंग रियलिटीज इन बोथ अर्बन एंड रूरल सिचुएशन हीज कैरेक्टर्स आर ड्रॉन फ्रॉम एवरी सीगमेंट ऑफ द सोसाइटी बी दे प्रोफेशनल स्किल्ड और और अनस्किल्ड of lower middle or rather economic uh, preferences that help the reader discover the multi dimensional social maze in india he has written more than 150 books including his novels and short stories many of prapulla roy roy's fictions have been filmed as i told earlier the original bengali name of the translated book no where cited by a translator or publisher is akasher niche manush akasher niche manush people under the sky prapul roy won the sahitya academy award for bengali in 2003 for his kanthi kal uh, john w hood the translator of the book under review has chosen to title his english rendering uh, differently this shift of emphasis offers a glimpse of a glimpse of his sensitivity and his own reasons that uh, that is to be appreciated for selecting for translation a book that is not popularize based however many of his indian readers might not to Uh, not to readily accept hoots highly laudatory observations in his introductions uh, particularly in its concluding sentence john f hoot uh, has by now attained the uh, uh, the stature of a seasoned seasoned translator from bengali to english this being the seventh book that he has translated his first choice of nihar ranjan roy's scholarly volume might have stemmed from his own academic background and it is undoubtedly helped uh, many researchers not well versed in bengali uh, in the pre and early history of uh, middle and eastern gangetic system in the region's social anthropology nihar ranjan roy did not proceed beyond the first millennium at that is the time when a bengali identity could be said to have emerged it is therefore difficult to uh, decipher the link between hood's first venture and his subsequent choice of the 20th century literary products these five or six books include poems postmodern adolescent adventure and mystery stories and of course stories of partition he has also written about serious modern films perhaps uh, i should not have looked for a link but rather uh, rather been more thankful uh, towards one who has seriously engaged in interpreting and presenting original culture of india to the english speaking uh, world uh, world at large Hood's present translation is Hood's translation is lucid and faithful and allows for easy reading by and large he retains the uh, flavor or rather the signature time of Prabhul Roy's original prose which is also simple and direct Prabhul Roy's chosen style of repeating in a subsequent section an event or a development already narrated earlier would not please many readers but roy as a writer must have been many committed others who do prefer such repeat of emphasis some sort of uh, some sort of uh, hammering into add weight to the emotional content and effect this may be due to the author's own inclination towards populism and and uh, and partisanship however as to what constitutes objectivity 
or detachment in a, a graphic account of gross injustice, a cruel a oppression, cruel oppression and crude opportunism uh, could well be a point of argument. The story is simple and unlinear, narrated in a direct manner, free of presentations. The description of the natural background is faithful to, to the original and emerges clearly in, in, in the translation as also descriptions of the hamlets of different castes, the market, the dry river bed, and the rapidly depleting forests. The location's identity with Chotanagpur is, however, a bit uh, anachronistic as the narrated details, including those of the hamlets of uh, milkmen, uh, mainly Brahmins, and particularly the Doshas, uh, would, uh, would, uh, would uh, connect more with Bhagalpur, Purnia, uh, or Bhungya. This is about other writings of Prafulla Rai that I have discussed. The story opens on a harsh summer. This is about Akashe Niche. The story opens on a harsh summer day and ends before the onset of monsoon. We read of a group of bonded laborers from the low castes uh, following the bullock and the uh, plowshare in their effort to turn over the dry, hard earth. This is part of the extensive barren landscape but lies under a cloudless sky, cloudless sky and angry sun. The audio background is provided by the sound of the the uh, sound of the mechanized tractor from the uh, neighboring estate and of the buses and trucks speeding along the uh, nearby highway. The composition ends with a clownish uh, villain emerging from behind a dust screen with the news of the impending general election and also the candidature of the great master, the landlord known more for his primitive uh, farming methods using human bonded labor and the lord of the uh, bonded serfs. The sky so harsh soon appears to uh, relent. Uh, a bounty of sweets is offered, followed soon by other uh, inducements and offtake cash and other benefits, gifts that all continue, that will continue to rain down as the month-long election campaign unfolds. In the story, uh, Akashen Nietzsche, Neil Akashen Nietzsche, the story proceeds through uh, this socio-politically eventful scenario with, a, with the protagonist, a young Doshad uh, Dharma and his 19-year-old uh, fiancé uh, doggedly trying to earn, uh, earn uh, from their own uh, from their own outside efforts uh, enough to pay back the inherited loan of the family and to secure their freedom from bondage. He fights with a leopard to secure her cubs for an American in return for a rich reward. Courage and urge for freedom, but he declines to follow uh, his friend uh, Gana, who escapes to find a better life. Uh, Gana risks uh, uh, torture to rescue his old mother and, and thereby earns his freedom. This is the story Prafula Roy has provided throughout the narrative uh, enough substance for an enterprising uh, mainstream film producer to come up with a masala pot boiler. Perhaps he has only to recompose the final scene by putting in a daring five sequence uh, featuring the single-handed uh, dharma engaged with the thugs of the great master 
and then rescuing from the uh, burning uh, Toshad Hamlet, uh, Hamlet, his fiancée Kushi, and their parents as well. But no such film will be as good as Mahaprithvi, based on one of the several superb short stories of Prafulla, Prafulla, uh, Prafulla Roy uh, that exposes the struggling urban, uh, struggling urban Bengali middle class life, a life that was Roy's own and that he will understood. So this way, dear students, today's lecture is over. I have completed my lecture. Thank you. Thank you for your patient hearing and for your participation in the classroom. Thank you. Uh, welcome. Uh, okay. Okay.